Hi, it's John. Now, I've been taking some photographs with the digital camera. Um, the uh, Panasonic that I normally use for the videos. And the format is like a 16 by 9 that comes out. And then I've been putting them into um, the computer. Um, Picasia. It's a free editing program, but you can do lots of things with it and messing about with the pictures and you can improve the look of them and I thought I'd just show you a few of them, just run through them so I'll zoom in on the screen and talk as as I do it and then I'll edit it all up on uh, Premiere Elements as I'm getting used to that now and practice makes perfect Not that I'm a great believer in perfection as many of you will know from previous videos. Now this is a view on the way from Bullbarrow to Winterbourne Stickland in Dorset and I often see this view because I drive this way quite often and there's some barns that have been converted down here and this is the interesting part this snaking hedge line up here so I've been trying to catch it so I parked the car up and, and had a little walk down and tried to see where I could get the best view of it. Nothing was perfect, of course. It was always a compromise. Um, this was obviously walked down a bit further, so not quite so much of the snaking hedging, but um, other bits and car coming up here. Uh, I've just picked out, I took a lot of pictures, but I've chucked most of them away and just kept the ones which I thought were had some value. There's also another bit here, there's the fence post, the telegraph poles here, one, two, three, four. and I think there was another line of them going back there, which I was trying to get in, but I couldn't, nothing was perfect. Uh, I was lucky to have a bit of a red car, it could have been a bit redder, couldn't it, that car, but um, that's probably the, the best one of those. Um, a lot of these barn type faces here have been converted into houses because house prices have gone up so much. Um, and then the next one, I've done something to it. There we go. I've done some blue vignetting. I've clapped it, clapped it down as well. This works quite well. Got this snaking hedge underneath the tree. No house there. Can't see that gabled house at that end. And because the sky was so white, I thought I'll, I'll, put, I'll see what I can do. And you could choose the colour of the vignetting. Normally you'd just have black, but uh, this looks rather nice. And, and Helen likes this one as well. Make a nice little card, wouldn't it? Now what have we got next? We've got the cat. Now I was looking out the window in the morning and the cat was on the post there. And I thought, oh, that would make a good picture. And I didn't think it would stay there. And it was there a little while and I thought, well, I could take a picture. And I took video and picture. And I took it from the window of the house because I could get a view, unrestricted view of the cat. Uh, so I was about 300 feet, about 100 yards away from the cat. So that's on just handheld telephoto on the Panasonic HD 520. Um, that was a, a, obviously a, a photograph, but I have got put a video up as well, which you people have probably seen who follow my channel. There's a bit of music, but of course I can't edit the ending of the music anymore easily because um, no YouTube editor. So what I, had to, I had to stabilise it on YouTube because I haven't got any uh, other form of stabilising. And then if I downloaded it into Premiere Elements, I would have lost a lot of quality. 
Um, so I had to just leave it like that and not not fade the music at all. I hope they bring that YouTube editor back. It's quite useful for me, that was. Now, here we go, here's another picture. Now this is um, somewhere near Brocklehampton. Brockhampton, near um, Buckler Newton, and I was just coming back into where I live and um, saw this view. And what, what one thing that interested me that it looked like there'd been a, some sort of racetrack at the back here, so these swirling, and and then the sunlight was on the house here and. Uh, on that bright field. Um, took quite a few of this, but haven't kept them all. This is a fairly modern house which has just been built, and just as there's been a lot of barn conversions, there's also been quite a lot of mansion type houses built in this area of Dorset. And a nice spattering of oak trees here, I particularly like this one. Oh, and then this is Buckler Newton coming in from the Ball Barrow Road. Um, the sun was on the manor house and the church, and we've got slight autumn colours there. I had to darken it down quite a bit to get the colour. I think that works quite well. And. I don't need much of this, but I saw the cows and they looked all right, so I thought I'd take that picture. Don't know why this one was at the back there. He needs, he's got a sort of uh, funny face, hasn't he? Anyway, that's um, what I've been up to. So I've joined a photography club now, so I may be getting more into photography. Um, so uh, thanks for watching and um, see you in the next video. Bye for now.